Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial on how to use PV array in MATLAB Simulink. Open Simulink library, type PV array. Add to Untitled library. So let us explore this PV array. Go to the model data. We have n number of models here on this drop down list. We select any one. I have selected Sun Power PV model A. Which has 213.15 maximum power, open circuit voltage of 36.3, voltage at maximum power is 29, and the corresponding current at maximum power is 7.35, short circuit current of 7.84. Let us explore one module A at 25 degrees Celsius. Have a look at this current versus voltage drop. Maximum power is at 29 volt and 7.35 amps. And coming to power versus voltage curve, the maximum power is 213.15 and corresponding voltage of 29. So this shows the response of PV module A. Then let us see PV array at 45 and 25 degrees Celsius response. Current versus voltage curve is shown here. Have a look at maximum power point voltage and current at 25 degrees Celsius, 290 and 294 respectively. Then coming to short circuit current which is 313.6 so this number is identified simply multiplying your short circuit current at one module A with number of parallel string that is 70.84 multiplied by 40 let's work out 7.84 multiplied by 40 is your final answer 313.6 that is what your overall pv array that means 40 parallel string 10 series string for this case similarly open circuit voltage your open circuit voltage is 363 that is obtained by simply multiplying your open circuit voltage of one module A with number of series now series is 10 so 10 into 36.3 becomes 363 volt for overall PV array then have a look at 45 degree Celsius current versus voltage curve current remains same but the voltage slightly reduced have a look at the open circuit voltage 336.792 whereas 25 degree celsius produces 363 as a voltage now have a look at the power maximum power point on this pv curve is uh, 85260 which is occurring at 290 volt. Have a look at the same at, uh, at 45 degrees Celsius. The power is less because increase in temperature reduces the voltage, which in turn reduces the power at maximum across this PV array. Now have a look at the uh, maximum power point voltage as well as current 290 and 294 
the maximum power point voltage for overall PV array can be obtained by multiplying this one moduli voltage with number of series string that is 29 into 10 becomes 290 that is a voltage maximum power point voltage coming to current 294 how to find that have a look at the current at maximum power point for one module it is 7.35 for overall PV array this number should be multiplied with 40 and see the answer 294 is a current then you can also find out the response of this PV array for different irradiances so three different irradiances are given let us see the response have a look at this response your current reduced for different values of irradiances for one kilowatt per meter square it is higher for 0.1 kilowatt per meter square it is lower similarly maximum power is gradually decreased towards lower value coming back to our model we have to provide two inputs select constant from the library add this to our model one is uh, irradiance let us choose thousand another one temperature with the 25 connect this input to our uh, PV array before that let's maximize this uh, model connect it right now then go to library select a display to showcase the output add to this model connect m that is measurement to this display then also let's uh, include power guide without that your model may not run also input current and voltage measurement which is used later on now make this continuous into discrete provide the value as 1 e to the power minus 8 also go to setting configuration parameter select solver fixer and also make fixed stays as 1 e to the power minus 8 now let's measure the current and voltage across this PV array remember I'm not connecting any load Let's copy paste this to display your IPV that is current of this PV panel as well as VPV that is voltage of this PV panel. run this model you could see the resultant of this voltage and current I didn't add any load the current is zero but the voltage is 
a 363 is open circuit voltage the next one is current which is almost zero the third one is uh, diode current and fourth and fifth are irradiance and temperature respectively and how did we get this 363 open circuit voltage let me go back to the PVRA model your open circuit voltage is 336.3 which is multiplied with 10 produces 363 now let me add some resistor across this PV array choose RLC branch add the same to the model now make it as a resistor let's take a random value of 4 ohm resistance run this model and see the result your voltage is dropped and the current is slightly increased towards 87.35 now uh, we want to see the power dr drawn by this load for that we just connect some uh, multiplier take the product to the model take one display to show the power result make it as power one of the input is voltage another input is current now I run this model we could see the power is uh, 30517 now let's change the resistance value so for resistance value of 3 we are getting 39600 further make it to 2 so we are getting increased value 56 1037 so further we can reduce the value in order to meet maximum power 1 for 1 you are getting power very close to maximum power and even a voltage as well as current so let's find out the optimal value by adjusting this resistance uh, this is simply resembling your maximum power transfer theorem. You try this. Let me put a random value here by trial and error method 0 0.98709. For this, approximately I am getting uh, power close to the required maximum power as well as voltage as 290 and the current close to 294. So this is uh, one of the method of identifying maximum power. However, there are number of methods available in tracking this maximum power in PV array. In the upcoming video, let me come up with uh, MPPT algorithm. For more update, subscribe my channel.